Hello everyone, my name is Ruben Fallen, and this is my presentation on Antisocial Personality Disorder, otherwise known as ASPD. So, what exactly is ASPD? Well, it's more commonly spoken of with the terms psychopathy and sociopathy, in order to describe people we call psychopaths and sociopaths. These, however, are not scientific terms, so they're generalized under the umbrella term of ASPD. People with ASPD have been described as having no sense of morality or empathy. Psychopaths may appear to be charming individuals, when in reality they have seemingly no sense of remorse and can be incredibly manipulative. They also tend to refuse to take responsibility for their actions. An example of a person with these symptoms who was afflicted with ASPD was Ted Bundy, who was charged with over 30 murders in the 1970s. So, what causes ASPD? Only 1-4% to of adults in the U.S. are affected with ASPD, and it's determined by several factors, including, but not limited to, genetics, gender, or unusually high or low levels of serotonin. One is also more likely to develop ASPD if they experience abuse or trauma as a child. Despite only affecting such a small percentage of the population, ASPD has been a big debate over the last century. The earliest studies took place in the mid-1900s, in which psychologists determined that antisocial personality disorder is affiliated with higher levels of criminal activity. Referring back to our previous terms, psychopathy and sociopathy were once different diagnoses than ASPD, but are now generalized by this new term. However, some argue that they should still be separate. So what kind of treatment options are available? Although there are no medicinal treatments that have been approved by the FDA for ASPD, you can find help from a healthcare provider near you through treatment called psychotherapy, or talk therapy. This can come in forms of anger management, treatment of drug or alcohol abuse that may be affecting your ASPD, or simple Freudian-style therapy. If you're looking for help here in Dodge City, one place you might turn is the Compass Behavioral Health Community, who have offices stationed here in Dodge City, as well as in Garden City. If you're searching for that help elsewhere, there's a website called HealthGrades that can help you locate a doctor for ASPD anywhere in the state. On a national level, there are all sorts of websites on the internet that can aid you with any sort of personality disorder, including one titled Emotions Matter, which has its own website, alongside other helpful tools, such as a podcast and a YouTube channel. If you or a loved one are experiencing symptoms of ASPD, seek aid from a healthcare provider near you as soon as possible.